Physiology is actually a really good major if you want to get into medical school as it has most of the classes that you would need as prerequisites. You will take biochemistry classes, which is one of the prerequisites depending on the medical school that you are applying to. Welcome everybody to day 18 of my 90 day challenge where for 90 days I'm highlighting a college major, telling you what it's about, what courses to expect in college and what are some of the career paths you could get into with this degree. Today we're talking about physiology, so let's get started. The Oxford definition of physiology is the branch of biology that deals with studying the normal function of living organisms and their parts. This could be looking at molecular level, how are the atoms and specific chemical molecules in the cell, for example, are interacting with each other, cellular level, so how are the cells interacting with each other, and even on the tissue level, looking at constitutes of blood, tissue organs, and even human functions and how organs interact with each other and how each interaction leads to function. So ideally, physiology aims to understand how different functions of a cellular organisms of our living organisms are able to interact with each other to maintain survival how is it that we are alive how is it that my hand is communicating with my leg my brain is communicating with all other parts of my body to make sure that i'm alive and how is it that i'm interacting with the external environment like if somebody was to jump in front of me would i startle and how exactly would that reaction be would i run away or would i fight you know fight or flight voluntary versus involuntary motion and all that so these are all parts of physiology that you get to learn with this major in addition to survival and how we react to the external environment physiology also tries to explain how exactly are the tissues in our bodies or organs in our bodies interacting with each other and influencing our behavior and that is looking at the whole organism at a whole but you can also think of this at the cellular level how exactly is presence of a certain chemical or a certain drug influencing the rate of of growth of a particular cell, for example. Courses in physiology lie heavily on the biology and chemistry, but you will also take a few classes in physics and math just to give you some fundamental knowledge behind physics and math and all the forces and interactions that do happen at the cellular and molecular levels. But most of the classes will be geared in the biology and chemistry. So you'll take classes like general chemistry, organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, physical chemistry, biology courses will include cellular and molecular biology. You'll take some biochemistry classes, organismal classes, and as you get more advanced we'll start taking classes in physiology so classes like advanced biochemistry physiology classes specific physiology cl classes and physiology as it applies to health and disease physiology is actually a really good major if you want to get into medical school as it has most of the classes that you would need as prerequisites you'll take biochemistry classes which is one of the prerequisites depending on the medical school that you are applying to and in addition you will also take human anatomy and or comparative anatomy comparative gross anatomy anatomy some, some schools call it different but anatomy is also another prerequisite that you do need to take and these are some of the things that you need to talk to your advisor about if you're interested in going into medical school dentistry veterinary uh, veterinary school these are some of the questions that you need to bring up in terms of the courses that you need to take that will gear you towards getting a really good application to those programs for a full list of courses that are offered specifically at msu for physiology majors i will link in the description below to the physiology program at Michigan State University or MSU and you can have a look at it and start seeing some of the courses that you should expect if you're planning on taking this major. If you're already a physiology major or really love physiology, I found some really cool swag on Amazon and I will leave those links in the description for you to check out. As I had mentioned, physiology is a gateway to medical school, veterinary school, dental school, or even grad school. However, you can still go into the industry with a physiology degree. Some of the positions that you could end up working your way into are biomedical scientists, so working in a lab, clinical scientist, clinical research associate, a lab technician, a pharmacologist, research scientist, a physiotherapist, or even a science writer. And as always, if you're going into grad school, you can work your way to becoming a professor. As always, if if you enjoyed this video let me know by giving it a thumbs up in the comment section let me know what other major you want featured in the next videos i will see you all tomorrow as we discuss neuroscience so come back here same place same time and i've been chilling watching the ocean with you baby up with a slow motion crew and we up in the clouds when people change but not us and we just chilling kicking it kissed by the sun